Hello. Today we're going to be looking at Bagua Zhang's Mother Palms training. After a brief bit of standing meditation to open the practice, we start with Cosmos One Energy and Old Monk Presents Bowl there. The typical opening patterns of Bagua Zhang training. Two main patterns of the single palm change are the reverse palm chop as well as the arm wrap. To training the mother palms with circle walking, another way to train them is by ta zhong, or training patterns on a stance, typically either the horse riding stance as here, or in the higher goat riding stance. The practice is essentially training the patterns, except instead of walking, you're practicing them at the stance. This can help train body mechanics, force, as well as rooting ability, that is, staying stable no matter where you happen to be standing. After training with some correct form and some flow, then you can start adding force. The techniques, of course, aren't that useful if you're only applying them when walking in a circle or in a stationary stance. Therefore, they really ought to be trained in a variety of directions, stances, with your footwork, and so forth. That way you can actually use them in sparring or fighting. Bagua Zhang emphasizes multiple attackers and agility, therefore you should be able to apply your techniques in a variety of directions. The double palm change introduces a great deal of variety to the Bagua Zhang practitioner. It includes piercing, it includes sinking, lifting, pressing, and striking forces in its applications. Piercing is a particularly popular type of attack in Bagua Zhang, especially because of its decisiveness, accuracy, and speed. Likewise, the overall palm striking, which can be used to lift, to strike, to sink, and to otherwise control an opponent. Again, after training form and flow, then you can start adding force to your practice. There's a Bakwa Zhang saying that states that even spirits and men will fear the three piercing palms. If you have nothing else to do against an opponent, just continuously chain piercing palms and you might be able to overwhelm them regardless of what they do. Regardless of what techniques you use, however, you must always pay attention to your defense. The third mother palm, smooth flow palm, emphasizes threading and coiling maneuvers which help you defend against an opponent's superior force while using little strength of your own. The coiling maneuvers of the smooth flow palm are somewhat similar to Chen style Taiji Chuen's silk reeling force. It is, of course, important to be able to use your various techniques in all directions forwards, backwards, side to side. You want to be able to handle yourself against an opponent or a threat that comes from any direction. 
generally in training, the movements start large and round and eventually become very small and fast. And finally, all that being said, we take the first three mother palms and train them together. And that about wraps it up. Thank you very much and see you next time.